Good morning, Ken. Morning, Zach. How'd you sleep? Oh, just fine. And you? Oh, I tossed and turned all night. Bad dreams again? Only if you count being stuck on an abandoned starship in the middle of hostile space, with no working replicators or food supplies, while fighting waves of Jem Hadara with a dull batleth and hearing the screams of dying children a bad dream. Uh, yeah, I would consider that a bad dream. Really? Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Hi. Did you sleep well? As I have informed you multiple times, Vulcans do not sleep. We enter a meditative state in which our bodies and minds are recharged. Simply allowing oneself to become unconscious does not properly induce the correct mind and body balance. So, it's like yoga? I love yoga. It is nothing like yoga. Incoming transmission. On the screen. Hey guys. Sorry I could only send you a recorded message. I didn't have time to talk one-on-one. -on -one. Here in the future, I'm playing the new Klingon expansion pack for Star Trek Online, so I'm kind of busy. Anyway, just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. I, uh, haven't really bought your presents yet. Surprise, surprise. Because, you know, I've been busy leveling. But I'll make sure and send it out today or tomorrow. Or maybe Friday. Anyway, have a happy holiday. Does he ever take anything seriously? I believe he is simply being jovial. Presents arrived for all of us this morning. Oh, great. I love presents. Where are they? In the transport buffer. I believe they were meant to be opened at the same time. Well, actually, I got you guys presents too. Thanks, Zach. We got you some stuff too. I hid mine under the weapons console so you couldn't find them as easily. Oh, wow. Thanks. That was very thoughtful. I hid mine under the captain's chair. Here they are. Oh, um, wow. Fascinating. Did you get me coal? No, that's a 3D chess set. It sure looks like coal. A big black box of coal. That's what mine looks like too. I too seem to have gotten coal. We got you a new uniform and, and socks. Indeed. These do not seem to be the presents we were meant to exchange. This is not coal. What is it? Hmm. The tricorder scanners cannot penetrate its surface. Strange. The air inside the box shows signs of temporal tampering. Are you saying the box is from another time? Indeed. Computer, bring the temporal communicator online and contact Mr. Giuliano. If there's time travel involved, he'll know what to do. Hello? Mr. J. We've got something strange going on here, and I think you might be able to help us. One sec, I only have four more Gorn to kill. This is a lot more important than Star Trek Online, Giuliano. <laughs> like there's anything more important than Star Trek Online. <laughs> well, this might be. We have evidence that someone has tampered with the timeline. What? Hang on, let me transport to the Klingon Tavern and log out. One sec. Okay, I'm logged out in a tavern, so I'll get double experience. Arrgh! Now, tell me what's going on? First, tell me. Have you opened your Christmas present yet? Uh, no, not yet. Why? We believe there may be a consistent occurrence. Please do so now. Okay, hang on. Uh, did I make you guys angry or something? All the time. Giuliano, what's in the box? Looks like a big square piece of coal. Fascinating. Deserving. Giuliano, see if you can scan the object itself. Your scanning equipment is a lot more sophisticated than ours. Doing it now. Weird. My scans can't penetrate the surface, but there seems to be chroniton particles in the box itself. What is the resonance quality of the particles? 4451.6. Fascinating. What does that mean? It means that whomever tampered with our presence? Also tampered with Giuliano's. Far out. But who would do such a thing? Hey, K. Swanindra? Yes? L look at the variants on the alpha band of the chronotons. Do you see what I see? Fascinating. What? What is it? Possibly the greatest threat we have ever faced. What? Merry Christmas! Woohoo! I'm drunk! David, be careful! 
Whoa, dude. Who's the chick on the view screen? She's hot. Indeed. Excuse me? Hold on, everyone. One moment. Case One Ninja was about to tell us something. Well, I mean, I could tell you too. Tell us what? That I found where you were hiding the Yule Cider? Woohoo! I'm drunk! No. That the Borg have infiltrated Christmas. The Borg? Are you certain? Absolutely. In fact, these presents aren't coal at all. They're assimilation kits. Oh my god. The temporal bubble I'm in will protect me, but you should have wrecked some sort of dampening field if you want to stay safe. Completed. It still doesn't answer the question of why we got these gifts. Case one, bring the long-range sensors online and give me a scan of Earth's surface. What are you thinking? Just a hunch. See anything, Case one? According to my readings, there is a large Borg presence. Where? At the North Pole. Oh, so that's why. Why what? Well, I sent a letter to Santa last week, and it got returned to center. I guess he got eliminated. Assimilated. Whatever. There is more. If these readings are true, then the Borg have been there for some time now. Since when? Approximately four years. That's not possible. Last year we gave Zack a pair of winter gloves. He received them just fine. Right. And the bottle of wine I bought you two turned out just fine. Yeah? Time travel. Huh? huh? Pardon? Oh, come on. That was we went back in time and eliminated Santa Claus. Assimilated. Whatever. I think he's right. Ken, bring the temporal drive online. Mr. Giuliano, David, you better get over here. Oh, and Hal Croesus, we're gonna need his help. Temporal drive online. One sec, I gotta tell my guild why I can't do a raid later. They have bug spray in that game? Don't get me started. Alright, we're transporting over. <laughs> Oh, cool. Croesus is not answering hail, Zack. That's strange. Maybe he's asleep. Put the hail on repeat and leave our temporal signal behind so he can contact us. Kin, set a course for December 24th, 2003. We have work to do. Course laid in. Make it so. Uh, hello? Hello? Anyone? Where am I? We are the Borg. Uh, no! And I was just trying to eat the fruitcake my aunt sent. We will add your technological and biological distinctiveness to our own. Someone! Please help me! Resistance is futile. Exited temporal space. We are now in standard orbit directly above the North Pole. Standard orbit. Position confirmed. Scan for Borg signatures. There's something down there with a the Borg signature, but I can't confirm its location. We're gonna have to go down to the surface. Everyone get suited up. Set phasers to stun. What's a phaser? Something you're not getting? Oh. Okay. Hey, something over here is flashing. Incoming transmission. It's Croesus. Thank goodness. On screen. Crew of the UFP Devilfish. I am Croesus of Borg. Your lives are now forfeit. Lower your shields. Oh no, Croesus! What's wrong with his face? Those are Borg implants. My level 40 captain has something like that. Ugh. Croesus, what's wrong with you? The Croesus you know is gone. Now, only this Croesus is left. Lower your shields and prepare to be assimilated. He talks weird. What are your plans, Croesus? 
This unit will accomplish the task many others have failed. By traveling back in time and assimilating Santa Claus, we will ensure that everyone on Earth receives our assimilation technology. Our plan is already in motion. You cannot stop us. Set temporal coordinates for three days ago. Understood. Zack, there's a temporal dampening field in effect. Our drive will not operate. As I stated, you cannot stop us. Resistance is futile. Lower your shields. We will not. You'll have to destroy us. That can be arranged. Shields to 88%. Transporters offline. Return fire. Bridge to engineering. Report. The flex capacitor is offline. Captain, you can't take much more of this. What the hell is he talking about? Just fix it, Sheriff. Kinez, continue to return fire. No effect. It is pointless to resist. Maybe not. I think I can get us to the surface. How? The main deflector dish. By rerouting main power through the secondary EPS conduits on Deck 12, I can tie our transfer signal to a variable Delarin beam and fire it at the surface. Do you have no, uh, did you know I have no idea what that chick just said? Will that actually work? Well, yes. My pimp hand is strong. Let's do it. Get us within 500 meters of the signal Giuliano found. Prepare for transport. Energizing now. It worked. Indeed. Where are we? About 300 meters below ground, in some caverns. And the ship? Croesus has broken off his attack. It's us he wants, not the devil fish. Indeed. They are scanning for us. Put these on. What are they? Personal shielding. These will block their scans. For a while, at least. Nifty. Right. Let's find Santa. Stay close to each other. There's bound to be Borg around here. Move out. No. Unfortunately, they got away. That is unnerving. The UFP Devilfish crew could prove to be meddlesome. I will find them. Our plans will not be deterred. See that you do, Croesus. See that you do. I'm cold. I told you to bring your jacket. I hate having to carry it when I'm not cold enough to wear it. Well, you should have thought about that. We've been walking for hours. Do you even know where we're going? No, but she does. She's hot. Quiet, you two. Cut the chatter. Sorry. I believe I have found something. What? About 200 meters east. A large dwelling, full of undersized humanoids. That sounds like Santa's workshop. Are there any Borg signatures in the vicinity? Negative. That won't last. Agreed. Let's get a move on, people. The Devilfish crew is of no concern. Our objective is clear. We must assimilate Santa Claus and remove the human threat. Land the Borg forces. Assimilate every elf you find. They cannot stop us this time. There it is, Santa's workshop. Confirmed. However, there are Borg signatures in the area. In the workshop? I believe so. They are difficult to pinpoint. They're probably shielded. Let's get inside. I'm not taking the rear. Move out. Borg troops! Get down! Uh, duh. I think they spotted us. I think I wet myself. I think there might be another way in. Where? 40 meters to our left. There seems to be some sort of cavern, some kind of drainage system. Might be a sewer. We can use those rocks as cover. Let's go. Everyone stay together, now! 
Ken is locked. You shall fight it. In, in, go! That's pretty well sealed. And those rocks are pretty big and heavy. Won't hold them for long, though. Right, Giuliano, where does the sewer lead? There's two paths, but both lead to the workshop. We'll break up then. David, K Swan, you're with me. Mr. J and Kin, go the other way. Aye, sir. See you inside. Good luck. David, stick close to me. K Swan, keep your tricorder out and watch for enemy movement. Aye, Captain. You're good at this. Thanks. It looks as if this path leads directly into the front of the workshop. There is a way inside about 50 meters further on. Meters roughly 4 feet, right? That is correct. Yeah, I think I'm sober enough. Damn it. Good. Maybe you won't get us all killed. Maybe. Let's head on. It looks like we're heading into the heart of the workshop. There's an exit about 50 meters up. Any idea of what room that is? Looks like it might be storage. Lots of old boxes and items. No humanoid signals. Good. Try and see if you can locate Santa. I'll try. Gonna be hard though, there's lots and lots of elves. He's the fat one. Oh, right. It's empty. What is this place? Looks like a bathroom. It certainly smells better than the pipe. Oh, that's heavy. Case one, is there anyone in the area? Negative. The hallway is clear. Good. Now let's try and keep quiet. Definitely storage. Look at all these boxes. Are those the Atari E.T. games? So this is where they put them. I used to have that game. Uh, any readings on Santa? I have a humanoid that might be him. About 30 meters east? Oh no. What? Borg. Just outside the storage room in that hallway. Damn. Okay, let's do this. Wow, they weren't shielded. Did you think they would be? Well. I was doing some PvP with this all board guild the other day in Star Trek Online, and... Let's just go get Santa. Oh. Okay. There are several board closing in on our position. Where? Both ahead of and behind us. We are surrounded. Am I gonna be ass humiliated? Assimilated. Seriously, whatever, okay? Take cover behind that outcropping. Let's hope these new phases Juliana brought us really are adaptive proof. Or what? Just aim for their heads. Nice. Beware, you bulk fiends. I thought you said there weren't any out here. I thought there weren't! A door! Go in! Hello? Santa. Santa! Well, hello, boys. We have to get you out of here. Yes. It seems like someone has invaded Santa's workshop. I was going to hide under the bed, but apparently I had a little too much eggnog this year. Ho, ho, ho. Santa, your life is in danger. Is there any way out of this room? Well, just that. A fireplace, perfect, come on. I hate soot. That almost hit me! Kill like five of them. Thank you, Delta Force. It seems that they have already begun assimilating the elves. Many of these Borg are much shorter than those we are used to. They still have dynamite aim, though. That is a product of their ocular implants. Ocular? Like an octopus? David, I do not have time to explain at the present moment. They're getting more bold. At least they haven't adapted yet. I believe that is a Starfleet issue phaser. Ken, Mr. J! We've got him! We found Santa! And now, I have you all. Croesus. Uh, 
they'll be able to break through that door. Move that dresser in front of it. That's my dresser. Shut, Shut, up. Shut up! They won't hold them for long. We have to get you out of here. Can you reach the ship? Negative. The Borg's dampening field is disrupting our communications. I'll try boosting the signal. Do it. Is there anything I can do? Entertain Santa. I have Christmas Monopoly. Nice. Can I be the dog? Of course, my boy. Wait, I think I have something. What have you got? If we can make it three floors down, there's a weakness in their shield variance. It might be enough to reach the ship. So hold on. You're telling me we have to go down to go up? Let's go! Gotta get me one of those. Grab the edge. Drop, hang, and release. Go now! Again! Go! One more floor. I'm afraid you are too late. I have you now, Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, where am I? Zack, thank God! We've been in here for hours. Where's Santa? Right here, my boy. He's got some great drinking stories. Well, I had a bit of a spotty youth. I should tell you about the second time I went to Tijuana. Fascinating. Do they have to make these restraints so tight? Why, yes. We did. I know that voice. Yes. It's me. My alter ego! Fools. Did you really think that you could stop me? We should have guessed it was you. My plan to stop Star Trek Online is now complete! By assimilating the planet using Christmas, I will ensure this non-simulation RPG fiasco is halted forever! What about Jews? What? Well, we Jews don't celebrate Christmas. We celebrate Hanukkah. Neither do Muslims, or Buddhists, or Hindus, and the Sikhs. There are also a large number of, of Baha'i worshippers. Confucians, Taoism, Zoroastrianism, Jainism. What's the one with the weird cake thing? Uh, Shintoists? I think that's it. Silence! We will send them as random gifts, then. I'll make dreidels of doom! Star Trek Online will be destroyed! That's why you did this? To stop them from making Star Trek Online? Indeed. When I saw those screenshots with their stylized nature, I couldn't take it. The Borg will take Santa's workshop, then Darren Stinnett, then the world! <laughs> I'm sorry, but that's just... retarded. Indeed. What? You're taking over the world just to stop a video game from being made? They should have made it more photorealistic. You're destroying six billion lives. What was that? Sorry, that was my cell phone. I think someone just bought one of my phasers on the auction house. Those go for like a thousand credits. They have an auction house? My point exactly. Kinius, you can understand, right? This game cannot be made. Dude, though... He might have a point. Your efforts to destroy the world over a video game is illogical. You will destroy many non-gamers as well. Not my fault. Dude, wait a second. You're the leader of the Borg? Yes. But... Isn't the leader of the Borg... a queen? Well... I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Silence! I will not be made fun of! Excuse me, my queen. Stop calling me that! Sorry. Anyway, the takeover of Santa's workshop is now complete. All of the elves have been made Borg. Good work, Croesus. Start sending the presents into the future. Then, launch an attack on the Devilfish just before it left for the past. With them all here, they can't go back and stop me again. 
Sure we can. Don't you understand the timeline? Huh? See, you can't stop us from coming back because we've already came back. You'd have to go back to stop us from coming back if you didn't want us to be here. But then we wouldn't be here. I think you just hurt my brain. I need a drink. Was that English? It is of no matter. Star Trek Online will be destroyed! No! I will not sacrifice the game. We've made too many compromises already, too many retreats. They attack the Devilfish and we fall back. They assimilate Croesus and we fall back. Not again! The line must be drawn here! This far, no further. And I will make them pay for what they've done. Uh, are you okay? Dude, nice speech. We could just kill them. That works. Wait! What? Uh, well, see, you can't kill us. Oh, really? Yeah. See, my brother and I are in the future. So, if you kill us, we won't go back, and then we'll have disappeared, and they'll come looking for us. As soon as they see we went back in time, it will lead them right back to us. Plus, well, I think we're gonna get out of this, and when we do, I already have a plan. Oh? To do what? To send a note. To Santa. A year ago. What will this note say? To make sure he keeps plenty of liquor on hand. Oh, and to look behind you. Behind me? No! Yowch! You just shot me in the ass. It worked! Is that us? Yup, see, if we get out of here, I was gonna tell you that we have to go back and help us get out of here. But that's impossible. You didn't get out of here to tell yourself to go back and help us. It's a continuity error. Ugh, people like you piss me off. That was a highly logical train of thought, David. Yeah, I'm a really good driver when I drink, too. Hey, me! Hey, can you work the controls on this thing? I think so, hang on. This is so weird. There's two of him. Now my brain hurts. Time travel episodes aren't even original. Thanks, me. No problem. Later. Bye. I'll have you guys out in a sec. Good work, David and Juliana. See, if I were an actual alcoholic, I never would have thought that up. You've all been good boys and girls. You can have anything you want this year. Anything? Of course, my boy. Hmm... Captain's Log, Stardate 56489.1 Santa came through in style this year. After getting the Borg implants out of all the elves and Croesus, he gave us all copies of Star Trek Online from the future. We haven't got much work done, but we're all level 45 already. Kinesis took to it the slowest, but I think he's coming round. I wish the drops on these ceremonial daggers were better. Agreed. We've killed like 40 of them already. This game is so much fun when you're drunk, you gotta try it. Got another one. I only need 12 more. Ugh! It's good to have you back, Croesus. We were worried about you. Giuliano, you took my kill! Sorry. It's good to be back. I'm... I'm really sorry, everyone. Those boards just... they came after me in my sleep. I was having this really fantastic dream about Elizabeth Hurley, too. Well, 1999 Elizabeth Hurley, not the 2007 Elizabeth Hurley. But there I was, snogging her at a really posh party, and just as I got my hand up her skirt, I was woken up by this big, ugly machine face with bad breath. It was horrible. My people have a saying, when all else fails, use logic. That in no way, shape or form applies to the story I just told, Case One. She does that sometimes. Yeah, just ignore her. You are aware I can hear both of you talking. Yep. yep. All is forgiven, Croesus. We're just glad you're here. Incoming transmission. On screen. Hello, Devilfish crew. 
Admiral Sheriff here. Just wanted to say thanks for the socks. They're quite comfy. Our pleasure, Admiral. And thank you for helping us down in engineering. No problem. All I had to do was realign the secondary coupling, bypass the EBS manifold, and resync the isolinear sensor cluster. It was nothing. Oh. Well, um, good. Just make sure you don't try and activate those secondary coupling circuits. Because the backup emergency systems can come online and overload the main coupling. Then I'd have to install an entire new flux capacitor. Right, right. Well, uh, I guess we will then. Thanks, Sheriff. No problem. Happy Christmas! Thanks, guys. Well, I'm off. Dude, I thought we were gonna raid the Dominion homeworld later. Can't. I have a date. Oh. Like, with a girl? Well, yeah. Nice. Right, I'm off. Happy Christmas, everyone. I'm gone too. The game is on later, and I need to head to the store for a 12 pack. You drink 12 beers during the game? I'll get more during halftime, don't worry. Bye, guys. I should go too. I have money on this game. Merry Christmas! Later, Mr. J. Bye. I must go tend to our guest. He may be hungry. When did you feed him last? A few hours ago. I am sure he is hungry now. Let him go hungry. No enemy is worth abandoning our ideals, Kinesis. Even those who have wronged us still deserve our compassion. It's the only way they're going to learn. Sometimes. Um... Okay. If you are hungry, I have brought you some food. I'm not, but you can leave it on the floor. How's the game? It is predictable, but enjoyable. In its own way. <laughs> I hope your computer crashes. Understood. When your incarceration is ended, perhaps you will join our guild. Never. Never, I tell you! Understood. Good night. Oh, and a Merry Christmas, as I believe the customary greeting goes. Merry? How can I be Merry? I'll get you. You'll see. I'm not done yet. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!